Here we can see two of Rockwell's Programmable Automation Controllers, also known as PACs. On the right, we have the Compact Logics, and on the left, we have the Control Logics. While these two PACs program with the same exact software, the Control Logics supports more demanding applications with higher I.O. counts and more remote I.O while the Compact Logics is most often used in smaller systems like OEM SCIDs or systems with small I.O. counts. Now because of this, the Control Logic systems are usually much more expensive than the Compact Logic systems. The Control Logic system is a modular system which at a minimum consists of a chassis, power supply, a processor, and either local I.O or a network card to communicate to remote I.O. All of the devices that are part of the Control Logic family will start with the part number 1756 and these are all detailed on Rockwell Automation's website and in Rockwell Automation's Control Logic's Selection Guide. Compact Logic systems on the other hand come in two styles the all-in-one packaged controller and the modular chassis system. With the modular system, a processor must always be accompanied by a power supply and an end cap at a minimum. And most will often be paired with local compact I.O. Now all of the above compact logics devices have part numbers which start with 1769 and they're all detailed on Rockwell Automation's website as well as Rockwell Automation's Compact Logics Selection Guide.